Okay, who's coding with us today? We're drinking this disgusting shit that has probiotics in it. You know you're getting to the end of the fridge when you're drinking the probiotics. Um, let's get the chat up over here. All right, guys, uh, so we're going to try to use the uh, AMX today. And maybe we should start with a minimum test for it. I'm going to say AMX.py. Good morning. Hi. Uh, we can import some stuff from LLVM. Um, tinygrad.llops.ops LLVM and for LLVM. Um, so let's just get a very simple program up and working here. Module uh, function. We need some buffers. I should be able to just use uh, I'm just I'm just today is election day. Do you have a plan to vote with it? No 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 no. We're not we're not saying anything mean today. We're we're we're, we're you know not saying anything mean. Okay. Uh, this has a problem with buffs. I don't really care about that. I can just write three there. Three is all we need. Three is all we need. Uh, you know, the sponsors of the channel uh, called me up and said, uh, George, you're not allowed to tell people not to vote. George, you're not allowed to tell people that. Um, and I apologized uh, uh, a lot and told them that I'm very sorry and I won't tell people that again. Uh, psych! We don't have any sponsors. I can say whatever the fuck I want. And if I get banned from Twitch, I get banned from Twitch. Uh, you know, you just stay true to yourself. And if you get banned, you get banned. Don't stay true to somebody else. If you stay true to somebody else and you get banned, you know, that's uh, that's on you. Hmm. You're worried I become a sold out. Well, you know. Uh, it's a reasonable thing to worry about. A lot of people these days selling out, man. Uh... Wish you weren't working. Oh, wow. Well, good, good. Good to see you working. Oh, you've been trying to get Max to vectorize? Yeah, right? 50 bucks. 50 bucks if you figure it out. <laughs> um, why don't I listen to music? Because I'm not allowed to listen to copyrighted music on stream. Um, by the way, I, I appreciate pull requests on TinyGrad. You know, uh, the Tiny Corporation is a collaborative effort. Uh, we now have a release. Uh, I did this release this morning. Oh, look, look, we got some, we got some hearts and stuff on it. That's good. Uh, it's on PyPy. I don't know if it actually works, but yeah, Tiny Grad's a collaborative effort uh, with everybody. And once I get some basic stuff done, I think we can, uh, I can set up a framework where it'll be easier for other people to contribute. But um, let's just file an issue. Uh, Hang on, I'm gonna do this over here. New issue, uh, max is not vectorize. Auto vectorizing. Fix this, $50. Must auto vectorize, not uh, hand done. Make speed similar to torch. All right, now we have an issue. Fix 
found an induction variable, can't vectorize. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it'd be important to, uh, yeah, I got that to work, okay. So today what we're targeting is these slow ones. Um, I did a whole bunch of cleanup this morning. Uh, but yeah, these ones are using the AMX and Torch and we're not using the AMX, so we gotta start using the AMX. So let's get to work here. Um, you create a builder, builder. Just call it builder. This is a good minimal example of uh, LVM Lite too. Uh, LVM exec uh, modules. We are gonna need some buffers here. What are buffs? Buffs are LVM buffer. Let me just create those. Say, yeah, from CPU. Um, from CPU, let's say np dot randan and then dot randan. Let's make some matrices. Is a data type. We have to do that. See, look, look at this. Look at this inconsistency in uh, in LLVM's uh, stuff. Okay. We have our function. It just returns void. It's pretty boring. Uh, did I solve FMAs? Uh, I did solve FMAs. Uh, No, I don't have any money. I've told you guys I'm a no-coiner, man. Um, no, it's, it's not any of this. It actually turned out to be that you needed uh, optimization. You needed O2, not O3, uh, which I hadn't seen mentioned anywhere. And I was thinking about it more, and I'm actually shocked that I couldn't find it in the code anywhere. So that was yesterday's. Um, LVM light inline assembly. Here's an example of builder as I'm. Uh, oh, that's brutal. What? It's used in load reg and store reg. In fact, okay. Uh, where dot int type sixty four. Let's try something like is this. This will do one plus two. Uh, what's F type? Oh, it's probably just going to be, we say FDY equals IR dot in type 64. Dark. It type has no attribute return type. Oh, that's the type of the function. Uh, how do I do that?
That should be cool. Um, so now we're going to have to get the these guys work. I op. Okay, that's just a number. That's a GPR. That's the number of the register. Wow, this stuff's pretty insane. And then it has side effects of memory. I guess you have to tell it that. It's raining here too. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping this will be a pretty self-contained stream. We'll just try to get this AMX thing uh, to multiply these two matrices. Um, hello, After Work Tech. So we're going to CN is AN at BN. And we're going to try to see if we can do that automatically. Uh, we're also going to. I don't like when my numbers are big. Cool. Wait, I expect what? Are things getting wrecked? Oh, bro. Bro. That's pretty wild. Rip. Um, no one's done this before, right? No, I don't think so. You know, it's always a question. There's a library, use it. Wait, I did see something. AMX, M1, LLVM. We're gonna have to figure out how to do this then. Uh, we should also figure out how to get integers in and out of this. Wait, inline assembly not supported by this streamer because we don't have an ASM parser for this target? Wait, that's a problem. The entire thing I've been doing has been done in MLIR. Okay, we'll look into MLIR. Well, well, what do you mean it's been done? Can somebody explain to me what this is? I've been to this page before. Yeah, we, we have a bigger problem.
This is annoying. I mean, this might work if we install a custom LVM light, but I kind of don't want to do that. Does Numba use any ASM? CUDA they do. Only in CUDA. So wait a second, this, this works for CUDA? Oh, that's awesome. You're telling me that this inline ASM supports CUDA, but it doesn't support uh, ARCH64. The worst part is I don't even need the assembler. Uh, no, we're probably just not specifying something right. God, I think that this is gonna be easy and it's not easy. We don't have an ASM parser for this target. Great, this is, this is just gonna be another struggle session with LVM, is it not? You should probably just be integrated in no integrated ass. Is that a flag I can set? Oh, I hate this. I hate this. We're back to this crap again. Nope. Might allow you to hard code it for your back end. How to switch off LLVM's integrated assembler. Do we need an integrated ASS? We don't have an ASM parser for this target. Guys, I'm sorry. This is another LLVM struggle session. One of these days I'm going to switch off LLVM. And we're just going to write this by hand. Should we just write this by hand? Should we start coding an assembly? This isn't, we didn't learn anything yesterday when we wasted all that time to figure out that you needed to put two in instead of three in order to get the FMAs. And that doesn't include the two hours I wasted off stream trying to do it too. Um, ARCH 64 wheels are available. do that. Does it matter what I put? Not supported by this streamer because we don't have an ASM parser. Oh, I, I did that actually. Oh, ASM parser. 
Oh, Smurf D, if you're right, this is why you're a VIP. Oh, that's why you're a VIP. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Yes, this is why you're a VIP on the stream. Boom. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I think we might be adding one and two together, but we should check. Um, can I call printf or should I just figure out how to make it return? This honestly should probably return something anyway. Uh, what does it say, int type? Uh, int type 64. Actually, no, we'll just do that here. I'll we'll do that here. Int type 64. Um, where's exact? Exact returns C funk. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's kind of fine. Throw red here. We probably shouldn't return void in these functions. We should probably return, uh, yeah. Um, that's actually gonna break all of the stuff, but we'll do it that later. Uh, okay. Uh, red add, not ass. Ass, 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 ass. No, 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 no. No, we fixed, wait, what? What just happened? Why did that revert? Where did it? I, you, you guys would see that on the replay. I don't know what I just did there. Um, yeah, that's bitching because I didn't return. Let me just change ret void down here to ret in const zero. Uh, it doesn't match return type void. We don't want it to have return type void anymore. We want our function type to be in type 64. What? Oh, well, that's just because I left this stuff enabled. This stuff doesn't work generically yet. Uh, return zero should be pretty free. Do we want it to return zero or do we want it to return void? Is there any time we'd not want to return? No, I think we want it to return void. All right, just, just for simplicity, right? Because there's no reason to. That's probably not right. I don't like that rat. Never mind. Take that back. I don't like it. Um, okay. Let's. We just run it twice, whatever.
Uh, Asm side effect. Okay, did I just get the order wrong? I don't know how this stuff works. Three, okay. So one plus two is three. Great. Um, that works. <laughs> and I'm free. Free falling. Bruh, don't speculate. Um, okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Smurf D, thank you so much for finding that. Oh, man, we, we would have wasted hours, you know? Just would have wasted hours. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to, let's go to debug equals three so we can see the code. Oh, look, there's the special add function. Oh, that's pretty nice, right? Okay. So... Side effect is the Boolean a side effect not specified in the constraints list. Okay, well, whatever. Mop GPR memory. Right, let's figure out how these things work. By the way, uh, thank you for uh, reverse engineering us so we don't have to. Um, thank you to Corsix or whoever made this. Look, I'm a contributor too. I contributed one typo. Uh, oh, that's my new issue. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, pull requests for, for tiny grad. Uh, so we, we, we updated the tiny grad website a little bit. Um, an investor reached out and asked if they could invest money. And uh, we included this now. Uh, the tiny corporation is too tiny to have any equity to sell. We're looking for contracts and sponsorship. Uh, we also added a uh, one more question. When are you launching your governance token? Will there be an airdrop? And our answer is bra. Uh, I also added this. I would also consider an internship where I work on tiny ground in the context of a company. Um, if there's some cool company out there who wants to make me an intern for 12 weeks, uh, I'll hang around. Discuss your problems, work on Tiny Grad, you know, particularly someone who's working on like, if you're working on AI accelerator chips or you're working on um, infrastructure tools, uh, my only requirement is that the company be doing open source stuff, or at least be cool with me doing open source stuff. Uh, you know, and someone who's got like an office and a culture, it would just be fun to do for 12 weeks. Um, I'd be interested. Or four week internship or, or whatever makes sense. Full description of every instruction. So we're gonna LDX here. Mm. Load store pair of registers or single register? Let's, uh, how do I convert a pointer to...
Full expression. Does that work? Oh, sweet. Cool, you just put a zero before it, okay. Uh, illegal instruction four, okay. Well, that's something. Um, see the window when my band's dirty. I'm cleaning it up. Uh, we need to enable this thing. Um, there's like an enable instruction. Set. Raises invalid instruction if already set up. Uh, here we go, set. So let's just write AMX op uh, GPR. Let's see if we'll put GPR uh, builder. Okay, so now we can say AMX builder zero FTY. No, I'm sorry, not FTY. Uh, here we can just say IR dot int type zero, uh, not FTY here, we wanna say what? Um, call that GPR. But before we do that, we have to turn it on. So, foreplay. Okay, this is the five bit immediate one, so that's the other kind. Uh, we'll call this AMX pop GPR, and we'll call this one AMX knob of a mid five. Great. Uh, M5. doesn't take in any registers and it's just an empty tuple. And we'll change that to M5. And then for the operation here, we have to set up the AMX state. Set is 17, the immediate is zero for set. AMX op op M5, AMX op GPR. Clear is 17, okay. Let's try. List index out of range. Uh, what list index? We don't have any arcs. Empty. Uh, I don't understand. This doesn't have, oh. Oh, it's because it is a function type, I see. Uh, so that has that, and that has this function type. Okay, let me just hang on. See the window of my bend's dirty. I'm cleaning it up. Int type has no attribute type. Uh, oh, shit. Like that. Okay. Oh, it ran. Yeah, all right. And watch, if we don't turn it on, illegal instruction four. But once we turn it on, turn AMX on. Turn AMX off. Uh, LDX. We should probably uh, just just write out those uh, just get those helper functions in here. Uh, oh, tiny header for accessing AMX instructions. Okay. So we have AMX LDX builder GPR. We just want to do it. I don't know. I want to find all those functions. Do we want to define the functions? Yeah, maybe we do. Should 
I do this automatically? I can definitely do this automatically. Regardless, let's um I don't actually need this anymore. Good. I'm glad I didn't waste much time changing them all to ints because the ints were stupid. Uh let's just print first off, let's make n smaller. Let's make n something like eight. How much do we load? I think we load eight. So we'll make n eight. Actually, I don't even like random. We'll do np dot a range n times n dot reshape uh, eight eight. That's a very accessible matrix for people like me. All right, great. What? What? Oh, that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, see the window? My bed's dirty. I'm cleaning it up. We'll let non-subscribers talk because they're on topic. See, I just feel on today. You know, I was winning chess this morning. I don't know. Some days you just feel on, some days you don't. Okay, I think we want to do an FMA 32. STZ. AMX FMA 32. How did you fix the FMA thing? You gotta watch yesterday's stream. Um, yeah, it was stupid. Load mall store uh, AMX FMA 32 builder. Uh, okay, we gotta throw. A, I think it's just a constant. All right, never mind. Never mind. We tried letting non subscribers talk. And like set builder. And next here. Oh, this is, this is so many. I'm going to have to refactor this. This is so many lines. It does make this stuff look nice, but I can write that as a, I'll write that as a few loops. A description of the register file. Oh, it's 16. Okay, so we have to make it n16. And oh God, why did I write eight? That's not what we wanted. description of every instruction. Let's go down here to FMA 32. Okay. Um, oh, this is so complicated. Uh, y enable mode, X enable mode. Wow. I don't know, let's just throw in zero. In const zero. Oh, I don't have in const. We should just import that. And I wouldn't have messed this up either. I am uh, set requires a builder. Yeah, these people did such a great job, right? I'm so happy. Uh, let's do c.numpy. Uh, no, actually, I have to do c.2cpu because it's not a tensor. Okay, well, that's what we expect. A lot of zeros. Now let's store it and let's see what happens. Um, 
func args zero, and we're gonna do a stz here. That easy? Who thought it would be that easy? Nobody. That's right. Um, it was just not that easy. Well, okay. Let's try something simpler first. Let's put in. Uh, Use at your own risk. STX and STY. And let's just try something simpler. STX builder point to end. Right. We, we loaded into X. Let's try it. No, see, that doesn't even work. Okay. So maybe we have to flush the cache. I mean, we're just trying to do a load in a store, unless we have to do something special for the store. Okay, ignore, load store pair of registers. No, that's, oh, that's right. Cares. Um, oh. 64 divided by 316. Oh, it can load two. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, we would expect this to work, so it's probably some cache issue. something that actually uses the real AMX instructions. They wrote a complete emulator. Apple's so good that people are writing docs for them. I know. <laughs> Trust me, these docs would be way better than the docs Apple would write. Apple writes the most useless docs. Like, they're beautifully formatted, yet useless. Mm. I've never seen Apple Docs where I'm like, wow, I'm happy with those quality of those docs. Those are good quality docs. Oh. Man, why do these people email me? They want something? What do they want? It's like, just look at this. Just look at that email. Just, just look at that email. You just know it's spam. P.S. Is this the right point of contact to discuss marketing? No, fuck you. Uh, all right. We have to flush the cache. Or maybe we don't. You work on spam filter? No, I'm not talking about it. I'm not blaming Google. I'm blaming the people who send the spam. And it's not like Viagra spammers. These are companies. I guess think I don't wash my hands. I do, but I don't need towels. Um, the corpse signature, exactly. All right, well, like my hands are no. I gotta go find a towel, and we gotta get some lunch. I'll be right back. That yogurt, man.
just uninvent email. Good plan. Uh, okay. Why doesn't this work? Well, hang on. It's possible the register's wrong. Remember how theirs looked different? Uh, what does this do? Shift, shift, left, four times six. Okay, maybe that's needed. Generated the same code, which is not a surprise. Okay, we, we load in the pointers. Uh, oh, duh. Hell yeah, that just worked. Look at that. Okay, so we made a copy. Um, we just loaded and stored the same thing. So let's try a multiply. No luck there. But if I store that, look at that. Uh, let's just do... So they look different. Let's try STY and I expect it to be like that, but the other side of it. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, that's so ugly. Oh, oh, no, no. No! All right, how do I set the word wrapping in NumPy? NumPy, something like set print options. Come on, that looks too ugly, right? Um, line width. Come on, come on, one line. No! Line with 1,000. There we go. Okay. 1,000 is probably insane. I don't know, 160? How many characters is that? Eighty-two. Also, it's probably wrapping at 80. Okay. So that's the other... side of this. Oh, we can probably even print C and it'll look pretty. Oh, hell yeah. I love NumPy with big line, long, long, uh, long wedges, long line width. Who has an 80 character wide terminal? Only poor people. I bet even Uganda has longer terminals than that. Oh man, it's raining out. Uh, if I had a mirror, I'd show you here. Can you see the reflection off my iPad? Yeah, I know, right? I'm telling you, Uganda looks at that and says, bro, this is only Somalia has 80 character terminals. <laughs> uh, okay. So this one didn't work, but we were getting closer. Um, if I store Z, I get nothing. Wait. No, I did that exact thing before and it didn't work. I don't understand. How did it not work before? But I don't understand. I did that same thing and it didn't work. Oh, I think I fixed the bug. No, I fixed that bug beforehand. I don't know. I don't know what I did to fix it, but it works now. So, you know, we should just be grateful. Um, okay. 
uh, builder.add, uh, builder.add. Oh, uh, well, actually, should we use jet? No, 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 we'll use add. Um, here we want to say for i in range uh, n. And then, oh, this. This one's actually does not, I'll just say in const uh, zero here. And this one we have to do i times uh, 16 times 4. Throw parens there. Okay, let's see if that matches. Mm, no matches. Uh, why doesn't it match? Okay. Probably because one of these is transposed. Uh, let me think of which one's. Let's just try it. spend a little time thinking about what we're doing. Actually, this might just be wrong. It might just be this. No, that was one of the transposed ones, all right? Boom. Almost. Almost. Ah, uh, that's this. Okay. Fine, whatever. That's that, and now uh, let's put the store in a loop. Uh, do matmol store for i in range n. Um, zp equals, actually, Tuple has no attribute type. Who's a tuple? It looks the same as that, right? Oh. There we go. Uh, oh, we just need to actually save the... Uh, Increment the index of STZ. Really, if this works this fast, I really thank the uh, the writers of this incredible documentation. Uh, whatever. I, 
I think we're trashed there already. Um, builder add zp in cons, let's say i uh, shift shift 56 bar. Ah, I don't want my binding order. No. Close though. Oh, I think it's just because I didn't. Uh, LDZ and SGZ, zero. I guess, all right, fine. No, it's not times two, it's times four. Homies, we just multiplied a matrix. Ah, oh, using the AMX at blistering speeds. Wow, incredible, incredibly good documentation. Amazing, amazing. Um, we could go further and actually put loops and put matrices around it, but why don't we just port this over to TinyGrad? End of time. I don't know. That was the fun part. You want to just call it the stream for the day? Nice little short stream. We got something to work. We didn't encounter any issues. Yeah, you all want to see me struggle to make that work in Tiny Grad. Oh, that paste did not work. You figured out why it doesn't want to... No stream more. Uh. All right, all right. What, 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 what? Right. Figured out why it doesn't want to vectorize max. Oh, wait. Why don't you use this? Oh, LVM 14 has the F max reductions. Well, we can't use LVM 14, but why don't you just re-implement it in terms of select and comp? Submit a pull request and I'll pay probably 50 bucks. Wow, wait, how much bits is that? Oh, we got bits. Okay, okay. Let's get a few, you want me to keep streaming? Let's get a few subscribers up in here. Oh uh, yeah, just re-implement it in terms of FCOMP. Right? Hype train is close. Oh, let's read Wilm's blog post. I think he's working on uh, Toyota security. Um, all right, all right. Thank you, 3 Cough, for gifting subs. Uh, did we touch on FTX? Yes, Binance has signed a letter of intent to purchase FTX, yes. Um, Very cool. All right, now let's solve Toyota security. About to beat your last record. Wait, can we beat the record? Let's keep the hype going. Let's give some, let's give some bits. Let's give some subs. Oh, Wilm's a boss, I know. Uh, Yeah, if there's anyone who's going to crack Toyota security, uh, for everyone who wants that. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's keep the hype going. Woo! Mm. Thank you. Thank you for gifting subs.
Mm. I appreciate you guys. Um, you know, guys, no, wait, real talk though. Let's have a little conversation and then we'll, we'll get to some, some tiny grad stuff. Uh, well, let me just, I don't want to do this. This, this stuff's ugly. I'll clean that up. Let me clean that up. Make those functions generate automatically. Um, yeah. We'll have like a four line AMX header. That'll be cool. Uh, wow, CryptoCod. Wow, gifting subs. 20 subs. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, no, we have a real problem, guys. The tiny corp needs to figure out how to make money. Uh, so, we, we've, we've uh, explored a few ideas. Uh, we thought about selling perfume, uh, but then, no. Um, the, the tiny corporation does need to make money. Uh, Wow, level six. I don't think we've ever done this before. I honestly don't think we've ever gotten to level six before. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy. We've, we've never, this is the, the biggest hype train we've ever had. Uh, so streaming is one way we can make money as a tiny corp, but the tiny corp needs to start making money. Um, you know, we, we, we had a contract potentially on the table. But, uh, you know, it fell through. You know, it's just like, people aren't serious, man. It pisses me off. It's like, like, like just, you know. Ugh. I don't know. Uh, it's like, it's like the same. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm real. After the Elon thing, I'm like, dude, these people just like say they're going to do things all the time and then don't do it. Like, that's just what I've learned with companies, too. Companies have zero integrity. Uh, there, there is no like, oh, this person said they were going to do this. And then they just like, don't. And like, what are you going to do about it? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, one of the things that really like got me frustrated with comma was dealing with Qualcomm. Um, they, they, they lied to us. They jerked us around. They, it was unbelievable. Uh, and I, I wonder if this is how they manage, you know, their other relationships. I, I can't wait for, uh. You know, NVIDIA at least was straightforward about not selling us chips. Qualcomm told us multiple times, we'll sell you chips, we'll sell you chips. And then, like, they never sent us a quote. Uh, they Well, they sent us a quote for 20... I'm not going to go into it. But, uh, you know, it's one of the things that got me really fed up uh, dealing with Qualcomm. Uh, and I can't wait till somebody dethrones these people. Uh, the, these companies should not be allowed to operate like this. And not should not be allowed, like... I mean, look, I'd like to see some... I'd like to see a law passed against price discrimination, uh, but it's not just price discrimination. The real way to beat these people is in the free market. You shouldn't be able to have a company that has all these people who basically do nothing and like be more profitable than, uh, you know, I, I, hopefully, hopefully the Chinese are coming uh, for, for all these accelerate for all these chip companies. Um, so, uh, wait, what? Is this lagging again? Guys, you're making... Something's lagging. Or Safari's broken? I don't know. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta refresh chat. Sorry, uh, hang on, hang on. We'll pause that, maybe? I don't know what happened. Are we using all the RAM somewhere? Are we, like, out of RAM? I think the, the level 8 hype train is just breaking everything. Wow, 5,000 bits from CryptoCod? Thank you. Thank you. Whoever gave the 1,000 bits before, uh, I appreciate you. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you, guys. Um... Yeah, streaming is one way to make money. Uh, unfortunately, Twitch, I think, does take half of it. Uh, so, you know, just, just be aware of that. But hey, we like Twitch, you know? We're good people. Um, okay, so let's let's talk about business models for a little bit. Um, level 8. This has never happened before. Wait, you guys are literally breaking my safari. The stream chat's not working. 
what if I... I don't know, what do we need Safari for? I need to be logged in. Wow! Gifted 50 subs! Mtastic85, wow! Oh, guys, you're all amazing. Thank you. Thank you for, for supporting this channel. Thank you for supporting the Tiny Corp. Um, you guys actually gifted so much stuff that you broke uh, Safari. Uh, a level 11. I, I just, this is, this is amazing. Um, all right, so we can't, and this is good. I mean, this money's good, but we, we have to figure out a business model uh, for the Tiny Corp. Uh, this is the highest it's ever been by far, yeah. Uh, I'm glad to see you guys appreciate this. Um, well, yeah, that's our seed round, right? Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get back to programming in a minute. Um, we, we did a lot of good programming just right then. Uh, there isn't a max level, of course not, but... Um, Yeah, one of the problems is equity is kind of a Ponzi scheme, right? Like, every corporation eventually dies. Remember that. Uh, now, to be fair, um, companies used to pay dividends. So if you have a company paying dividends and you expect your dividends to pay out more than your thing before the equity goes bust, then that's fine. But if companies don't pay dividends, you're actually just buying into a Ponzi scheme, right? If, if there's no dividends to shareholders, there's no way, like, out of this thing, right? And you're like, oh, stock buybacks. Yeah, but stock buybacks just, just like, it props up the Ponzi. You, you can do the same thing with your token, right? To prop up a Ponzi. Um, yeah, you know, that, that, that uh, some, some, one of my friends in New York, finance guy, tried to tell me that stock buybacks and dividends are the same thing. And yes, like, in practice, they are, right? In practice, when you look at, like, where you're going to put the money, okay, everyone's share price goes up, blah, 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 blah. But, um, fundamentally if a company well okay not having dividends is okay but if you never have dividends in the future then how does anyone extract any value from the equity in your company right thank you for subscribing thank you thank you uh animated emotes you, you guys actually crashed safari uh, I don't know about Ten Torrent, guys. I look, uh, and it's not, look, you know, you guys know I like Jim. Um, you know, I think he's a very smart guy, but, uh, oh, they got rid of it, right? So if we actually go back, and yeah, I'm going to call them out on this because I think it's important. Uh, if we go on archive.org and we look at this web page, all right, and we look at it from like um, all right, a year ago or something. Let's look at it from a year ago. So it used to have a price and actually talked about like when it was going to ship, when they were going to ship these cards. Uh, now I haven't seen anything, uh, you know, about them shipping. If, if we find the right thing, it actually had a, uh... yeah, you guys remember it. I mean, I, I'm sure I could find it, but. No, we can't sell merch, guys. We need we need a real business model. Uh, Ten Story found out how hard it is to build the cards. Yeah, uh, but like again, how how hard are they really trying? You spoke with them over Zoom next week. They don't expect to sell chips publicly until late next year. You see, and like I talked to them, and they don't tell me this, right? Um, maybe they did that to get funding. You see, and and this is the problem, right? You know. Dude, buy now, right? Is that that hard? Is it that hard? You can buy one of these, we'll send you one. 
Um, Someone's at the door. Oh, probably groceries. Ah. Uh, the fads, man. Maybe it's the fads. I don't know. So. The groceries? Eighty-two subs, six thousand bits. Really great. Uh, oh, you found it? Yeah, you, you found where they said they were they were gonna sell the cards. Uh, congrats on your emotes. I don't really know what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why Web Archive wasn't working for me, but yeah, look. Here they have a price. It used to not say coming soon. They even had one that had a date, and then they just completely missed the date. Um, there's no open source software. You know, and like nobody really holds these people accountable. Um, no, like I just you're gonna sell something or not, right? Like it's <sighs> over promise, under deliver. Yeah, like uh, you know who should hold these people accountable? Investors, right? Investors should read this and be like, "Where's your shit?" Like if I was an investor, I'd be like, "Where's your shit?" I would, I would, you know, make a fake undercover account, like, um, and, you know, try to buy something from the company, right? And, like, try it. Don't, don't you think you should do that when you're investing in a company that's, like, Series A or Series B? Nobody should invest in companies that, like, fine, your seed round, you don't have something. But for your Series A, you better have a product that I can buy. And for your Series B, you better have product market fit. Otherwise, what are you doing? No, the, I mean, these companies don't sell, uh, these companies don't sell chips, they sell shares. Uh, we can look like, what, you know, yeah, how can you be doing a Series C when not only do you not have product market fit, you don't even have a product, right? Now that interest rate's not zero, I hope, it's not that they're fraudulent, right? Again, if, if you're, you can't really hate the player, you have to hate the game. And yeah, you have to hate the people who set the funding rate at 0%. Oh, shit, maybe we should go out and vote. Uh, no, no. Um, you're doing well transfer from LPs to your bank account. Yeah, and like, uh, I think a lot of LPs are going to end up being disappointed uh, at the end of this with the fact that they didn't get money. Uh, back, you know, it's the VCs. This it's a Ponzi, guys. Like, I don't know. Something I complain about a lot. The tiny corp's not going to be like that. Uh, no, I'm not voting. Fuck that shit, man. Look, like, you think your vote matters? Uh, and yeah, sure, in aggregate, maybe they do, but your individual vote doesn't actually matter. So you should signal for everybody to vote, and then not go vote yourself, or you kind of. But regardless. The small amount of influence you have isn't worth legitimizing the system, right? Um, I'm glad you don't vote. That's the, it's the only rational choice. Okay. Uh, Shit posting on Twitter has more impact than voting. I agree with that. But if everyone thinks that way, it doesn't. All right, never mind. We're not gonna get into. It. If you vote in a governance proposal, you're uh, you're violating some SEC law or something. Okay, man, we should have just we should have just ended the stream. Uh, yeah, no, I would vote if there was more than two choices. I mean, if the election actually like like was correctly set up, but it's it's just a scam to keep you involved in the system, All right? Whether you vote, the Democrats and the Republicans are, are, have you noticed how they always stay equally balanced and it always goes back and forth? And have you ever wondered that maybe both sides like it like that, right? Maybe both sides are actually conspiring. 
Um, you know, and here, here's a good way, by the way, to talk to like, uh, I feel like the really conservative people are easier to talk to about this. And like sometime that they get, um, sometimes the conservative people will get like, 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 aggravated and you know start falling back to like dumb conspiracy theories and stuff but uh, when you talk to like like you know these like really liberal people um everyone needs to kind of realize that the way that we break the system is everyone needs to realize that the news is all lies right and it's not that your news is a lie right it's that all the news is a lie so you can talk to like really liberal people and ask them how they feel about Fox News. And they'd be like, it was propaganda with made up talking points. And then shit, what do you think MSNBC is, right? It's all propaganda with made up talking points. These two sides stay in balance in this perpetual locked thing to really to screw you over. Um, both sides need a boogeyman so you don't turn against the whole system, right? Uh, you know, you might have, like, Republicans who hate the State Department and, like, Democrats who hate the Department of Defense. Those are even a bit outdated. I, I, I don't even know which side likes what anymore. But they, they both hate certain parts of this large machine. And they, they, they hope that your hate for the other side will keep you from wanting to destroy the machine entirely. Um, but... You know, it, it, look, I think that fixing the money is, is a... <sighs> See, the problem is, look, even if you, like, fix the money, maybe maybe it does all get fixed over time. Maybe it all, maybe it all uh, shakes out. Not helping Tiny Corp to talk about politics. I mean, is this really politics? Am I telling you that... Guys, you should all care about abortion. You know, you should all you should all care about welfare. You should all care about. No, I'm not saying that, right? I'm not telling you what to care about. Right? And that's that's where that's where I really draw the line of bad politics, right? I'm not telling you what to care about. I'm just telling you what the system is, and you know, you can you can choose to do what you want with that information. Yeah, civics, not politics. Yeah, voting is mandatory. That's that's so fucked up, man. Um, what other system would I propose? <laughs> uh, it's not about another system, right? There, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with our system. The problem is how much power the system has. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with our government. I'm not, I'm not saying, well, we should change the Supreme Court to have seven justices instead of nine. I'm not saying anything like that. What I'm saying is, this is like basic new reaction theory. Um, the government leaks power, right? You, you know what? The government leaks power in the sense that it can be influenced by money. Right? This is classic, like you have lobbyists and the lobbyists manage to influence the government and they influence the government and get more out of the government than they put in. Right? So if you have a government that leaks power, you'll always get all these people on the periphery trying to influence it. Right? So you say that, okay, well, there's two fixes to this. One fix is to make lobbying illegal. But you can't really do that. Right? Lobbying will always find a way as long as the incentive structure is there. So what you want to do is you want to remove the incentive structure. You want to figure out how to remove the power from the government. Um, and it's like, well, who should have the power? Well, nobody really should have the power. Uh, there's a lot of things that are like money printing, for example. Nobody should have that power, right? There, there is never a world in which it's advantageous to print money over the long term. But in the short term, we have to correct this bubble or prevent this blah, 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 blah. No, it is never advantageous in the long term to print money. Now, if you want to print money, you can do it like this, right? If you have an accepted institution, that accepted institution can, can make credit, right? Can make debt. But the institution can default on the debt. As long as you have this, like, like it's, it's the same people who the Fed lends out money. And what happens if, you know, you don't pay the Fed back, right? The Fed can't go bankrupt without the whole system collapsing. 
uh, maybe Keen Technologies can give me an internship. Hey, John Carmack, if you want to give me an internship, I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested. I'll uh, come hang out in Dallas for a bit. We'll do some work. Um, this is PyTorch's fault. <laughs> uh, comma Silicon when? I really don't want to make hardware, guys. I really don't. Um... Uh, no, I mean we have to just trust that the uh, that the Chinese are going to make hardware. What would be the role of a government without power? Well, it's not that the government has no power; it's that the government should have very diminished power. The government's budget right now is way, way, way too large. Um, I'm definitely not an anarchist. I do not believe in anarchy at all. Um, I think anarchy is an unstable state. Look, I, I, I went on a date with Scrub once. Um, we had to find a bar where she could bring her dog, which was already a red flag. But, um, you know, she's telling me about how she's an anarchist. And I'm like, look, let me tell you about how anarchy works, right? So, uh, you know, I got my, uh, you know, I never call it lacking. You know, I got my, I got my Glock right here and I, I pull my gun out and I, uh, I show it to her. I'm like, look, if this were anarchy, you know, you'd be my slave right now. I point the gun at her, you know, I don't put my finger on the trigger, I get my finger off the trigger, I'm not really going to shoot her. But, um, you know, if this were anarchy, uh, you know, you'd, uh, you're my slave right now, right? And, and this is going to last right up until the bartender pulls out his shotgun. <laughs> you guys are both my slaves, drop the Glock, right? Uh, so I drop the Glock, all right, all right, all right, I'm a slave, all right, all right, respect, respect. Um, and this is going to work right up until the, uh, the police show up. Hello, this is the Oakland PD. We have the place surrounded. We have guns and howitzers. Uh, you know, watch out. Uh, you, you better, uh, surrender all your weapons, right? And then, okay, okay, okay. The bartender puts the shotgun down. And then this works right up until the U.S. military shows up. This is the U.S. military. Uh, we have three Chinook helicopters and an aircraft carrier off the coast. Everybody please surrender your weapons and submit. Right, and now we're right back to where we started. So that's why anarchy's stupid. No, it's just that's exactly what would happen. The same people who have power now would have power. Yeah, right. This is solved with personal nukes. I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, all right, we got to get off. We got to get off the, 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 the politics. Can, can you guys come up with a good business plan for the tiny corporation? We, we need to figure out a way to make money. Um... Yeah, we can, we can go back to subchat. We need to make money, guys. Uh, all right, let's, let me just clean up this code a little bit. Steal money. Sell nukes. Make PowerPoint slides and sell it for desperate middle managers at the Fortune 500. Uh, only fans too. What is Tiny Corp? This is the Tiny Corp. Can I go to the link here? Oh, I'm not logged in, so I can't send anything. Uh, what was your initial idea? Well, we didn't have a way to make money yet. We're pre-revenue, guys. See the window while my bed's dirty. I'm cleaning it up. Ah, uh, shit, okay. I'm gonna just clean up this. Let me just make this header complete. LDX, LDY, STX, STY, LDZ, STZ, uh, STZI, STZI, XT, RX, XT, RY, FMA 64, FMS 64. Take some money from comma? We can't take any money from comma, guys. No, and like, I don't want to sell equity. And 
vac int vac fp mat int mat fp genlot. Uh, for o in ops, how do I define a function globally? There's like ways to do this. I do this in tiny ground elsewhere. Do I not? Um, no, that's all this. Should I just make a class? Uh, what if you sold compiled software to people who are too lazy to deal with source code? Yeah, maybe. Make devs love tiny grad, sell tiny grad ports to chip businesses. Crack, yeah, I think that is kind of the business model. And it's probably not a good question. If you're trying to ask a question, you can't say. Uh, I, mean, I guess we can say globals uh, AMX underscore. Actually, let's just do a dictionary comprehension here. Um, if o I think I should know, no. you may love to something innocent without leaving my fingerprints out. Function dict comp dot lambda. What if I started a chip company? It sucks that these now don't work. Uh, Even if I can make this work, I'm not sure I want it anymore. There's nothing skipped, right?
I don't like that. I kind of like that syntax, you know? actually. Understand. I find the class right there. Oh, it's because this is incomplete. Uh, set adder on AMX. The name is uh, if O. Should to do that. to tell it as a static method. And tell a service where I tune the hyperparameters? Yeah, maybe. static method. Uh, Seg fault 11. That's a weird one. Yeah, it's all lined up correctly, right? That eye is captured, right? It doesn't, Two is definitely twelve. Hmm. How does PyTorch generate revenue? That's a good question. Why is it seg faulting now?
Why is it seg fault now? It doesn't make sense. not work. What? Why is that being called like? That should be a lambda function. It shouldn't actually be called. Am I doing something stupid? is this changing why are those not the captured number oh god it's using that i how do i write this like it's just, it's using the outside i There's a way to like specialize a function. It's in like funk tools or something. Um, how do I partially apply a function? There's a new partial here we go. The positional arguments are using keywords. More arguments, okay. Um, let's put op here. Then uh, from It's a pretty nice API, don't you think? Uh, AMX is not defined. Is it just better to just write these out? I don't like that to put stupid static method everywhere.
No, there's tons of accelerators. Uh, no, that's not the problem. Some nicer way to write that such that they would light up. You know, like if I say that LDX equals none over here, will not light up? No, it's not a method. Write these in a better way. Set equals partial. I'm gonna put in five here. Op op in five. Seventeen zero. Okay, there we go. more readable if I do that. All right, all right, fine. We'll do these by hand. Do unit testing? Uh, yeah, you can read the tests in time. You guys are pretty good. You know, I, I like writing these out because it helps me learn about them too. Whenever you do this stuff by hand, you're like, well, you can write scripts to do it, but then you wouldn't like see like what the uh, the things are. What's an FMS? I don't know. And there's Mac sixteen. Have a 16. Max 16, FMA 16, FMS 16. Oh, this is all reverse engineered too, so these aren't really the real names, but I wonder. I don't think they're the real names. There's no 17.
That's pretty nice, right? That's pretty beautiful. That's, that's all you need to support the AMX. And then you can like use it like this. Let's add some comments. products. Oh, that's cool. It'll like add them up. That's cool. Ready to actually try to make the AMX work. 10 out of 10 branch naming. What branch naming? What did I name? Uh, let's first, let's see which permutes I want. Oh, sorry, it's not test ops, you want test speed. Chonker, yeah. It breaks the things up into chunks. So we have some code here, um, which if you're doing a matrix, uh, I actually don't want the cache. So if you're doing a matrix, we'll get rid of the cache here. I have this without the cache. I should just left without the cache. It's a lot easier to think about without the cache. So this is a matrix multiply, two, four, one, three. x slower than PyTorch now. Part of the problem is that we're only four by four. Oh, this is hard. Wait, this is gonna be really hard to write. Yeah, it's better, but 
Okay. Uh, let me think. Well, what do we know? We know that this thing outputs 16 by 16. So this dy and dx has to be raised up to 16 by 16. Uh, yeah, I wrote the tiny guy one. It's, it's really simple. Back props pretty easy. So you see now this is loading. It loads one chunk here. And it loads many chunks here. All of these need to be coalesced down to a mm, this is a wrong idea. We need to loop over one of these. I'm relying on LVM to do a lot of this for me. So all these load store spills, FMLAs, uh, this whole initialize will become the, the AMX. what the loop structure looks like. It's terrible this looks all like this. Right, I should really support inops. We should add inops to the shape tracker because that is harder to read. Uh, would it, would it look better if I wrote it something like uh, instead of this, I wrote like y y x x uh, k to y x k y x? Does that look better? No, I see your chat. Okay, well, first off, we have to put that Malad thing back that I took out. And have I already messed up by the time I'm loading? Let's refactor this a little. Uh, get IDX is we have IDX and we have buff index.
And then down here, we can use this as get IDX is IDX level zero is still over zero. Uh oh, builder. All right, so what this does um, is it, uh, I'm not that close to the monitor. Uh, this generates the, the um, the ID at the, the indexes for uh, the loop. Then that's all like coalesced by, oh, so I was reading this wrong. So one of these has stride zero and the other one, okay. This is good. Uh, okay. This is my matrix multiply here. You'll see that these are the indexes of this 16 by 16 grid. And you'll see that one of them is one and one of them is zero. Um, now, what's special about 0 and 1 is uh, 1 means they're contiguous and 0 means they're repeated, right? So those are the strides. It's only going to work for this one now, but we should be able to turn these things into uh, something much nicer. This is all, that's just the output stuff. No, and then the output's all over the place, but that's fine. Like I wrote this in a pretty naive way, which is nice for LLVM, but not so nice for, uh, I'll just write it in by hand for now. That's still a good refactor anyway. Try it by hand for now. I mean, I can fix this to support stride zero. But I'll still be left with
Get it working somehow, make it nice. Does this, does anyone see what we have to do? Like, so, sorry for all this crap. Um, Maybe it's easier to look at if I just show you four by four. Okay, so remember the, the AMX is a 16 by 16 thing. This is 16 by 16. It's, it's bigger than that, but we'll just assume it's 16 by 16 because that's what it can do uh, on the math. It can do 16 32-bit elements at once. So this is the four by four one. You'll see that it loads here uh, this, and it loads here this. Like one of them is the Y dimension and one of them is the X dimension. What if I do like Permuda? What do then make these things look like? No, no, that looks crazy now. Uh, we gotta do Permute LR. Permute LR is gonna be the fast one. Um, I'm trying to think, do we even need the same loops? I feel like we do. Clean this up a lot. I can clean this up a lot if I put caches in here. Do we do Jap? We do Jap on both, right? Yes. I'm already passing in buff indexes in there. Uh, so we'll just. I'll have to pass in funk then too. No, not really, that's already global. Mm, it's annoying. It's that inner FMLA that we're trying to replace with uh, this is what we're trying to replace. Okay. Let's throw a function on here called use Amex. We're using the AMX. When we do a load, we do a load, we do AMX dot LDX. Okay. If buff index is, is one, uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna write this very hacky at first. First, we're gonna make it work, and then we're gonna okay. If buff index is work one. Assert. Uh, where's my loader here? Okay. Stride sub buff index sub minus one equals zero. AMX, LDX. Funk arcs, buff index. Now we have to do into pointer on that. Where's my AMX?
Xcode. No, but it's not just that. We do have to still do the base index, which is IVX. So buffer, pointer to int, uh, that. But we have to add, and we also have to pass in builder here. Builder, builder add, add the pointer to the index, and we're good. I'll have buff index equals two else cert uh, AMX only supports two buffers. Okay, for this one, we have to put the stride, whoops, like this, and set that like that. But that should be correct otherwise. All right. Uh, pointer to int is missing this. Uh, let's just call it uh, XP. What SP? FP. It's a floating point. Buffer has no attribute up. Oh, now we have to return something. Uh, we don't have to return. Oh, crap. Now those are going to give me some non. Okay. None has no attribute type, great. Um, you see the problem now? It's parsing this AST. We should go back and see how I did the mall. Remember when we did the FMA fusion by hand? Guess what, we kinda have to do the FMA fusion by hand again. A reduced line count. No, oh, these are less readable. We're not we're not interested in code golf, guys. Um, where did I get rid of the FMA? Yeah, fix FMA. What a waste of time. This one. How did I have this? Okay. Yeah. Where is that? Length reduce ops. And then here. So that stuff all works. But here what we need to do is um, Those are going to be none. We'll really have to like get special sentinels for the AMX buffers, but uh, we'll get to that later. Okay. If FMA, here's where we want to put in the uh, uh, FMA instruction. So we'll say AMX.FMA32 loop index 
Should work. Exception, no reduce. Oh, uh, we don't have a reduce result. You shouldn't return none. We should really have this return something like AMXY, AMXX. result we could like clean this up but hopefully you see you see what I'm doing I, I don't know if anyone actually follows when I'm doing this stuff I think hopefully someone does but like and so instead of the registers being returned instead of like the LVM registers we have to return like a special sentinel saying that it's in the uh, yeah, okay uh, where do we check reduce result we pass it into AST parse but we actually should never really get there. Um, if reduce results, Oh, this is a store. Okay. Uh, if use AMX, else, um, range 16, and then it's not ZP here. ZP equals, yeah, where's FP? I said FP up there in my load. So we have to load and store the uh, AMX register. I call it F pointer. Uh, Z pointer. Funk args zero. Put Z pointer here. And then, wait, what? I don't even use that, that's stupid. I think there. I don't use that, that was stupid code. Okay, um, node should have one predecessor for each. Okay, so wherever we create that phi, we actually don't need to create that phi. This uh, if use AMX else, uh, we need to clear the Z register. So, how do I do that? There has to be a way to do that. I mean, I guess I could turn on and off the AMX. Is that the fastest way to clear it? Yeah, maybe. AMX, um, so if you're coming from there, AMX clear, uh, AMX set. That's actually not what we want. But let's just try it. It's gonna give me some invalid instructions probably, but. Um, oh. Inverted. Local variable val mentioned before assignment. Uh, oh, fees append val. Oh, we just don't need any of this actually. It's not 
guess. Uh, also, if I didn't change those back to, uh, yeah, we gotta change it back to 16 by 16 because that's the size of that. Uh, int object has no attribute as them. Uh, oh, because yeah, yeah, it's not store loop, it's um, loop entry sub store loop. Maybe I just want to do this right, and this is loop exit. Oh, I should really also label these instructions. Not sure that's what name does, though. Find group nodes not grouped at the top of basic block. Uh, oh, I see what it's mad about. There's a phi there after that, okay. These we want actually to be way down. What, still complaining? That's ASM star. Oh, add the looping. Uh, okay. Expected opcode. Mm. Why is this word wrapping? Oh, because that's after the branch. Okay. You don't want to do that. You put them here. No. Now it complains about the fine. No, oh, it's man. That's just annoying. You put it for the branch. If I equals store loop. Okay, legal instruction four. Uh, probably when we hit the second um, call to this, we have to put that in the loop exit. Uh, so, but I have a feeling if I put it there, it's going to complain about fine nodes or something. Basic block parameters greater than SSA fine. That's great. You tell that to the maintainers of LLVM. Uh, I'm sure they'll love to hear your opinion. If use AMX and I plus one equals store loop. Okay, it runs. Gives us a wrong answer, but it runs. Pretty good. Let's make our matrix smaller. Legal instruction four. Is there really not a clear?
All registers set to uninitialize. Is that really the fastest way to do this? It probably is. Okay, which is a little annoying because if we're doing 32, the problem is if I, if I don't have a loop, um, why is it putting them in all the things? It shouldn't do that. Let's look through for what's happening here. So these are all the stores. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I already loaded those all. Okay, it loads those all to begin with. Let's crane lift. I mean, sometimes I just want to have this generate C code instead of generate uh, Why is it putting those in loop exit? Hmm. Maybe that's right. So these are the loads, and then this actually triggers the uh, multiply, and then this stores the stuff. Oh, no, I have to add to the pointer too. I did a hack in that AMX, did I not? Yeah, I times 16 times four, that's just not right here. That's not what I did, right? Yeah, okay, of course that's what I did. Um, which actually is not what I want at all. I want this to be multiplied by uh, strides sub zero of minus two. No, I should just want to use get IDXs here. Well, let's just look at what the strides are. So, this is the strides. Oh, that's right. Here we're also going to say assert strides of zero sub minus two equals one. Nine thousand stars. Yeah, so thirty two is right there. We're getting something. Uh, oh, did I not multiply in the loads correctly? Oh, the loads are based on the index. Should be right. It's not storing. Mm -hmm. 
by compacting. Why am I getting zeros there? That's just not right. Why aren't I working? This is my job now. I work at a tiny corporation. Those are all zeros for some reason. Oh, I don't think, wait, where's my Z pointer? Yeah, 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 I'm, this is dumb. This isn't what I meant to do. This needs to be added. stride through that. Oh. That's uh did I make the same mistake up top? Those indexes are need to be multiplied by four. Yeah, that needs to be multiplied by four. Does everyone see why it has to be multiplied by four, by the way? Who knows why it has to be multiplied by four? See if anyone's paying any attention. You should figure that out. Why does it have to be multiplied by four? We live in 4D space time. No, that's not correct. Boom. It worked. Why do we have to multiply by four? Who knows? Three is just too low. No, that's not correct. Four bytes packed. You're getting close. What's true about four? Imagine thinking we can read the text size. It's working, yeah, 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 yeah. But let's talk, let's, let's see if anyone's paying any attention. Why do we have to multiply by four? Okay, well, it doesn't work when I put floats in. Just cause like numbers are wrong. Rectangle. Float 32 is four bytes. Thank you, Rune007. Someone's paying attention. Get rid of those asserts. the smallest composite number. Is that true? Why don't you use float 64? Bro, what, you think we got GigaChad floats up in here? DQFFT, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, okay, so it doesn't work when my time, my, it's still wrong when my uh, thing is not nicely oriented. Um, we know it's, it's actually here. I'll just, I'll write the right one. We 
have to transpose that. So it's this one, but then transpose, permute LR. Yeah. Appreciate attention payers. Sorry. Well, it's because we casted the pointers to raw integers, which we probably shouldn't do, and we should probably clean up. Um, okay, here, test speed versus torch. All right, let's go back to random numbers and see what we get. Yeah, so it should just be this, but transposed. Uh, oh, I hate that. Where's my NumPy? That's my new favorite line. Yeah, it's just this, but transposed. Okay, does everyone see it? Um, there's some way I can fix this by like changing which ones. See, see, it's transposed. Does everyone see that the matrix is transposed? All right, go ahead. Uh, let's see how to do that. What if I change this LD line, LD axis? Okay, that works. Cool. Um, actually, we can test this over here too. I get rid of this transpose and I do this. Okay, um, now notice it's still 177 times slower, but that's okay. Let's make it big and see what happens. Seven times slower, not bad guys, not bad. That's way closer. Remember when we were 20 times slower? Oh, now we're only seven times slower. Oh, that's nice. Um, I think we have to make the thing even bigger. We have to make the thing even more insanely big if we want it to, uh... but that's pretty fast, right? Is this live? No, it's recorded, bro. I knew you were gonna ask that though, so don't worry, I got you. Um, okay. You know what might make it faster? If we add caching back in. This is cached. Shit was so cached, bro. What's the size of the cache? 128? If I wrote all this right, this should just work when I do this. Oh, same speed. Okay, now we could go even more extreme. First off, let's try on a bigger matrix. Maybe we're getting close to just the overheads. By the way, how many flops is that? 291 gigaflops! Oh, that's only 39 gigaflops. Oh, I bet cash really matters there. Um, barely. Great. I don't know why that's slow. Three hundred gigaflops. Hey, right, to be 
fair, that's faster than is even possible with, uh... That's faster than is even possible with the neon instructions. All right, we added a lot of crap in that's gonna have to be cleaned up, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe not too much, actually. Let's just make sure all the tests still pass without this. the right idea. We can also add more. So I'm not using the AMX to its full potential. I'm only using one of the registers. So if we look here in the register file, there's actually eight of these wide. There's a huge chunk of memory. So this is a 64 by 64 matrix of bytes. So we could go to 64 by, wait, 64 by 64 matrix of bytes. No, that's registers. So each one of those, is in and of itself 16 floats. That's crazy. So there's 200, there's 256 kilobytes of memory. Wait, why does it say 5 KB total? I don't think that's right. Oh, it's not 64 times 64. It's just 64 times 16 times four. Okay, that makes more sense. There's a there's 4K memory. Uh, that's not that much. Only four kilobytes. It's a pathetic amount of memory. Remaining 64. By the way, that's when we, why we need to select on that Z thing. That's why we need to put that times four there. Actually, why is it not times eight? I feel like it should be times eight. Uh, why is it not times eight? Does that make sense? Should not be times eight? Right, because you want to go down the, oh. No, I, I guess this isn't right. Because it's not, okay. Once 64 bytes of X and 64 bytes of Y have been selected, operations between X, Y, and Z can be performed. All right, we wanna go a little faster? Let's go a little faster. Let's go faster. So instead of 16 by 16, Let's crank this up to 64 by 64. And I'll start with 32 by 32. Okay, it doesn't work, but it's fast. So now let's make it work. Uh, 4x 
dx in range uh, 0, dx 16. Sixteen. We're gonna have to read how these things work. Uh, okay, so that's at fifty-three. One of those assertions back. And then for this, we want to say uh, int const for or, oh no, that's the mull. Uh, builder.add i int const i shift shift left 56. So that loads it into the indexed. It loads it into the specific part uh, of the of the register. Okay, still changes nothing, but the loads are all there now. Now we have to do the matmol. All right, so there's. We have to update the FMA 32. Okay. X offset, Y offset, Z row. Let's say, let's just call it uh, AMX size equals two. We'll make it work first with AMX size equals one. Make sure we didn't break anything. Um, and actually we're gonna make this 16 times AMX size. Cool? Okay, test passes. Now, let's try to make AMX size two. Doesn't work. So here in our uh, FMA, um, for J in range AMX size, for I in range AMX size, um, shouldn't matter what order we do these in. So we can do something like J, shift, shift, left 10, or I. Now I don't know what Z row is. Negative infinity. Okay. Well, we probably need to specify Z. Let's just confirm again it works for AMX size one. I should have committed, by the way. I'm gonna commit now. We broke everything else, but the AMX works. Why you use incognito and God is watching anyway? Yo, I like that shit. Yo, I like that. Uh, FMA 32. Look, look, look. It's just like the real code, which does FMA 32s. Mm. What do I do about this zero thing? I guess. Oh, X offset and Y offset. I think I can go anywhere in those. So we probably have to do J 
j times 16, i times 16. Does that make sense? Oh, well, I'm excited to do a one. Okay, cool. Now we probably just have to fix the output. Um, for zero, let's try j times amx size plus i zero. Get it? Zero. All right. Zero. Shift shift twenty. That's good. Now we just have to fix the output store. Let's first change that to K. Why is it times four? Because we have to, yeah. This has to change too. I don't even know if that's right, but this stuff has to change. Okay. Strides. That's a row. Actually, it probably isn't right. All right it's 16 because that's how many there are across. So let's do plus i and let's do j times 16 there. That's probably not 16. Let's think about this for a second. Four times 16, 64. Let's, let's look at the docs for STZ quickly. But we, we also have to change that second part. Um, plus, okay, let's just PTR equals this plus. Actually, we want j times 16 plus k. That's probably right. Something like that. Plus error 10. Okay, it's not that. Zero. There's sixty four zeros. Which is why that times four doesn't really make sense. Is there not enough of these? You can try that. It shouldn't crash. 
Okay, we're just not hitting the right thing then. Um, plus five times 16. Oh. Okay, it's storing something now. It's just the wrong something. That's pretty good though, right? Let's get rid of the J. Let's see what we got. The same wrong something. I picked a J. I picked a zero. Offset and an X offset. F thirty two Z one row from each four. What what does that mean? What does that mean? Don't understand any of this, but you can't stop watching. Oh, 600 viewers, not bad for a Tuesday. Um, zero, high bits ignored in matrix mode. Okay, I don't think, I think this is actually all we get. So this is probably right once we, once we get this right. We probably don't get size bigger than, well, first let's make sure, always make sure you didn't make mistake. AMX size one, still correct? Still correct, okay. When I set AMX size to two, yeah, no longer correct. Uh, maybe not so good, okay. These ones are right, these ones are right, these ones are just wrong. Uh, when I did those times 16s, yeah, those are probably right. Oh, did I do my loads times 16? Where are the loads? No, I didn't. I might have to. No, this is X and Y register index. Okay, so there's literally only... Uh, Seven of them. Mm, that's right, is it not? Uh, let's do a small one and see if we can figure out what's going on. Why does it take 70 milliseconds in Torch? Oh. See, look, Torch has broken garbage, probably because I reshaped it. Or maybe because I didn't set the type right. It's probably more likely. Uh, hot, we're 2x off if it's right, which I'm not sure it is. It's not giving me the right answer yet. Do four FMAs. You get us like. Does that make sense? Did did my did my hand animations make sense to you? 
Uh, I hope they did, because if they didn't, you don't get new ones. Uh, J times 16 plus K times stride. I times 16, we multiply that all by four. K times four is down there, zero is there. Maybe somehow it's permuted. No. That's permuted? No. Somehow they're both permuted? <sighs> Fine. Fine. Don't work. Print them out. Let's change this to 64. Okay, here are the matrices. Okay. These ones don't match, and these ones don't match. Nothing matches. It's gotta be some permutation, permuted thing. I don't like that I'm like loading it into Y and X. Uh I don't like that this one loads Y and this one loads X. That's what's backwards, I think. It's just gotta be some permuted thing. I'd be able to see it easily. Why guessing things when the whole code is there? Okay, 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 MKA genius too. You figure it out. You figure it out without guessing. Correct. Okay, now we flip everything. No. Um, okay, can you print the whole matrix, please? Print whole matrix. Can you give me normal numbers. NumPy print options that we can just like disable this. Mm, man, I wish um, I wish this worked. That doesn't work because we didn't put in the load and start. Uh, we're only doing one, which is fine. Um. Added set. We have entry, loop entry, sub zero. That should work there. I don't get it. it. Shouldn't actually give me an illegal instruction. It's setting it right there. Is it me? 
mad because I never turn it off. It's probably mad because I never turn it off. Because I plus one never equals store loop. How can it know I never turn it off? I don't understand that. All right, big hack. Oh, it must be because it calls it twice. I get it. Okay. Um, we're almost there. Let's just have NumPy print the big thing. Uh, well, how do I do that? Suppress. No, it's not suppress. Um, I know. Whoever reverse engineered this is the real king. Uh, how do I not? Uh, pass sys.max size. Okay, now let's look at this matrix and let's see what's wrong. Uh, let's put in some more same values. Like those too big. Mm. Is some values close to zero. Let's n times n minus thirty two times sixteen. Some values that are close to zero, please. Why aren't those values close to zero? Uh, N is 32, right? How come those aren't negative? Oh, because a negative times a negative. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do this. Like... That maybe? Yeah, okay, those at least look. Too negative. Okay, th this is getting stupid. Just show me some normal numbers, normal sizes. Okay, those are good enough. Looks like we just aren't even adding the right things. It's not a permutation issue. Uh, the other thing that we can do is actually, my thing is wrong here. Let's try to use one before we use two. Sorry. Uh, Instead of AMX size, we'll have AMX size Y and AMX size X, okay? AMX size Y, AMX size X. Now this one is AMX size Y and this one is AMX size X, but is that really right? So that's buff index one. No, that's right, actually. That's right. Okay. 
this is mx times y, mx times x, mx times y. Uh, no, that's actually times mx times x. Okay, that gave me the right answer now. That doesn't even make sense. Is it just the pointer one that's supposed to be flipped or is this matrix just symmetric and stupid? Um, does it not work when I go to 64? It still works at 64. Does it not work when I add random stuff back in? Great, it works now. Cool. Uh, all right, let's get rid of those prints. Let's go back to a large matrix. Thank you, Smurf D. Big win for you today. Big win figuring that thing out. What a waste of an hour on that. All right, 8x slower. Bullshit. Oh, did I not actually, did I set them to not two? I set them to one, didn't I? Oh, I set them to one, of course it works. Okay, no wonder it wasn't faster. Back to the drawing board. All right, n equals 32. Let's go. And put the prints back. No, 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 it doesn't work yet. That was a false alarm. Okay, let's try making AMX size two go up. Uh, no, okay, that's bad. Now we gotta crash. And that one's just wrong with the bottom half of the matrix being filled with zeros. Mm. You like print debugging? I like print debugging too, right? Isn't it, isn't it the most pleasant way to debug? These numbers are not small enough. I want smaller numbers. Those numbers are too small. I want medium sized numbers. Okay, that's the best I can hope for. Mm, okay, so something's really going wrong. Sparse matrix, we are never supporting sparse matrices. Print debugging so visually appealing though? Uh, maybe the problem's here. Let's try just storing one. The GDB is not gonna support the AMX registers now, is it? Even if we just store one, it's still wrong. Um, the top one. So must be some bug in how we're doing this. Oh, do I not increment that? Oh, stupid. 
stupid, stupid, stupid. I have to add, uh, have to add to that, don't I? This is 16. I gotta clean all this up. This is terrible. Well, those aren't right. How's that wrong? Now back to one one and it's wrong. Oh, God, sorry. All right, I'm getting tired. Stores one? I, that doesn't make sense. That's that quadrant of the matrix. So it seems like this should be AMX size Y, and that should be AMX size X. And then this should go here, this should go here. Nope, wrong. Mm, okay, it's almost like it's just not going into the right zero then. Let's just do one of these. It's not even right there. So that doesn't make any sense, right? Because um. loading the wrong thing. It's like it's not actually loading it into the other buffer here. Builder add int const i shift shift 56. Is that not right? XY register index is shifted over is, sh is I shifted over 56? I'm definitely loading into the other register. There's eight of them, right? This is the upper quadrant of the matrix. It's like it's like loading the wrong thing. Or saving the wrong thing. We don't really know. Saving the wrong thing. No, that's zero. That's all zero. So that's just not right if it's saving the wrong thing. Um, it has to actually be putting the wrong thing in there. So then the problem is here. It's got to be loading the wrong thing somewhere. So this is just going to load the same thing twice. It doesn't even get that right. Oh. Is this running it multiple times? 
Maybe we do try to just do that all at once. Okay, that at least doesn't output the wrong thing. Let's fix the loads. Okay, that doesn't output the wrong thing anymore. That's good. Now let's put this loop back in, see if we still get that top one correct. Okay, that's still correct. Now let's work on saving. Get rid of that break. Where do we get a new one? Okay, it's over there. And it's not that one. Which one is it? It's not anything. It doesn't match anything I've seen. It's this. Look at that. It's this, but copied over there. Okay. So wherever we're multiplying by four, we have to multiply by a lot more. Um, we're doing I times 16. Then I multiply that by four down there. That should be right for the store. Do we have to say like zero equals i times four? But that's also k times four. No, that doesn't make sense. Look where it got those broken things from. It got them from there. Oh, it's possible we're loading the wrong thing. Oh, did I not multiply by, uh, did I forget to multiply again by four? No, I multiply by four there. God, I hate that this is stupid. Um, I don't know if that's storing the wrong thing or loading the wrong thing. My guess would be it's loading the wrong thing. I don't know, just put a times four here, okay? Change. Changes nothing. Uh, times four here. Let's do suppress equals true. We're gonna have to sit there with paper and do this right. You know, our suppress equals false. I don't want any scientific notation. Disable scientific notation. It's not suppress. Uh, always print floating point numbers. If false, then scientific notation is used only sometimes, but I never want scientific notation. How do I do that? Uh, like this. Okay, well that's just giving me broken stuff at the end. So whatever I did there just broke something. This is the same as this. It shouldn't do that. Maybe my target zero is wrong. Maybe this, maybe my, oh, maybe, oh. Okay. This could be wrong. Aha, okay, that matches now. Wow, so that's a real offset then. That's not a, 
that's actually offset into the float. Yeah, so this offset, you have to multiply the offset there by four. Because that's actually an offset into the register. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe it'll just work if I remove this last break. Yeah. There we go. Um, let's make sure it works if I disable one of these. Y offsets are in bytes, not elements. Let's set that to two and see if that works. No, it doesn't work. Okay. That's because one of our things is wrong. Uh, yeah, I think we got the strides wrong here um, for the output. Correct. Let's do this a little more methodically. I'm gonna have it working. I just need to disable the, uh, I just need to, I want these to work independently. Okay, this is the X offset and this is the Y offset. So that's right. Z row X offset Y offset. that not change which ones get outputted? It should. Oh well, maybe it just can't work if I do whatever. If that's right, no, that's not right anymore. Why change? Do I flip that? Maybe I flip that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Uh, to do change these independently. Here we go, 3x slower. Uh, 3x slower, we can do something else here too. I think there's a way to say load two registers. So this is the main loop here. There's a load two command. 
And the last time I saw your progress, things are getting out of hand. Yeah, no. Uh, I know things are out of hand. All right, let's change this to load load store pair of registers. We set 62, so I can go here. Um, Oh, 2.74x slower. And then we're reaching kind of where Tiny Grad's overhead is. You know what I mean? Like it's not actually slower anymore. It's just, uh, it's just overhead. Yeah, okay, it's within 2x. Um, things get really slow if I do this. Yeah, things get really slow if I do that. Probably because I'm not cash aware. I'm actually going to RAM. 1.83, like that's, this is getting, it's hard to make it too much faster than this. Do I have the cash aware version on? No, I don't. I mean, we're with, it's 2X. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to, I'm pretty happy with that. That's 2x of the hyper-optimized. Now you can't go faster, there's no way to go faster. The magic is gonna be, once I figure out how to genericize all that bullshit, which definitely sounds like a tomorrow problem, um, and get it to work for convolutions. All right, when I'm making the AMX work for convolutions, oh man, it's gonna be fast. No, because like right now it doesn't work for convolutions. Those are the stores. Where's the main loop? The main loop's right here. Oh, that's like hyper good. Oh, I can make my stores faster, actually. I can do the same thing with the stores, can I not? Um, I wanna do pairs. Old store pair of registers. That's the, uh, not the store. This is the store. This is gonna be wrong again, I can already feel it. we can use this engine for. It's tearing through memory too. And yeah, I think there's no way to fit more in. This is using how many rows here? Yeah, this is using, using all 64 Z registers. And that's confirming that's four kilobytes. 64 times 16 times four, yeah. 4 KB. It's pretty good. Oh, even fa oh look, we're we're sub we're sub 2x. I, how is torch faster? How can anything be faster than this? It just has to do with cash, I guess. Um, I don't know. Let's play with what's my cash number. Two D six. 
faster. How is this? PyTorch is paying off Apple. I knew it. I knew it. How is anything faster than this? Like, this is blazing, man. Like, look, this is the pretty much the uh, what I copied from here. That, that, 12, it wastes time loading. My loop's actually more efficient. Um, yeah. I don't understand. I, I have no idea how their thing could possibly be faster than mine. Which party did I vote? I didn't fucking vote. Stop it. Stop it. If the Democrats want you to vote, the Republicans want you to vote, George says don't vote. Guys, if we all stopped voting, they'd stop harassing us. How many tests? How many texts have you got? How many texts have you gotten from these people who are like, vote for my shitty shit? That's right. That's right. Nasty Wazdy knows how to do it. He never voted in his life. George is out promoting not voting. That's right. That's right. What else are you going to promote? You got to believe in causes these days, people. And my cause is not voting, okay? Some people want to save the whale. Some people want to kill hippies. I want to promote not voting. I want to promote non-participation. Passivism. No, I'm not anarcho-capitalist. I'm not anything. I'm not anything. I'm not voting for it. Just educate yourself. How do people get promoted in... You mean Tiny Corp or you mean Comma? People get promoted in Comma by shipping things. Um, if you manage to, like, you know, work on a good thing and you ship it, you only get promoted. I mean, the titles are kind of meaningless. But uh, you get raises. And then, like, the real way to get promoted is once you start managing people. When you start managing people, like, the people who manage people, uh, you know, have a lot more uh, equity and higher salaries than uh, the people who don't. That's the quickest way to like, uh, you know, move up really fast in the in comma. Um, ship things and then manage other people to ship things. Uh, how hard would it be for a Danish citizen? We we try our best to not. We'll get you a visa uh, if if you know Dan if you're good. Um, we'll get you a visa if we can. I I don't like I'm I'm, I'm look. I'd vote if there was the, uh, <laughs> I'd vote for the, the, how about this? It's open borders, but you have to have a salary above $100,000 a year, right? It's open borders for anybody who gets a company to pay them a six-figure salary. Uh, and this is confirmed, of course, by your W-2, right? It's confirmed by your tax return. So if you have a company who's like, I want to pay you six figures, welcome to America. It should be very, very easy. Why the fuck do we not want this person here? This person's literally going to pay you 35K in tax, federal government. Why would you not want a free 35K? No, you've got to fill out a form. Are they a J-1 or a H one B or are they an O-1? No, no, bro, 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 bro. Your lawyer scams are only making like 10K on the visa. You're going to get, oh shit, but they get the visa and the tax. Oh, they're making money on both ends, man. It's like the service where they, 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 they rent you. It's a puppy rental service and then a dog watching service. And then you hook the two ends together and you're making money on both ends. All right, that's pretty good. 1.9x slower. Why is it still slower though? This, oh God. Why, why does it get slow when I do this? Why is that so much slower? This has to do with the cache, doesn't it? I'm doing the cache dim right, right? It goes there. That one, that one. That one, and then that one. Oh, shit. No, the cache name actually has to depend. Oh, 
that gets fancy. I think we have to support partial reduces for big matrix multiplies. Oh man, that gets fancy. This is not so t easy anymore. Tiny Grad's getting untiny. That's concerning. I didn't commit recently, did I? I'm probably just like some. Okay. We'll take it, guys. 1.89x 1. slower. I, I still have no idea how this thing is faster. It literally can't be faster. How is it faster in Torch? Oh, 1.4. Oh, it went yellow. It went yellow. No, you can't read the Alpha Tensor paper to make huge matrix multiplies faster. Nobody has a way to do that. Um, are you developing under Linux? No, this is Mac. Call as an side effect. Um, look at that inner loop there. It looks so fast. Can I have a comment, by the way? What if I had a comment here? Does that make it into the thing? Oh, sweet, that makes it in. Uh, so here it's there, we're gonna say, uh, Amex op one, Amex op zero, Amex op twelve, 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 twelve. Um, that's literally the same thing as that one. How can this be? How is this one faster? Maybe they don't clear it every time with this. Maybe they have another way to clear it that's faster. It's possible that it's the turning it off and on that breaks it. Instructions have already set up. <sighs> Just make a faster chip than the M1 and design it to be slower while running Torch. That's a brilliant plan. Let's see if there's any trick here. F is 16 or F is instruction with. 
vector mode or matrix mode. Okay, we're in matrix mode. I don't know what X enable mode is. Is there fast way to do it? We're doing that. Z one row from each four. LLVM MCA. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, this isn't going to work. I'm using these weird instructions. I, I don't understand really how it can be slower. H how is PyTorch still faster than me? They must have a, the secret fast mode enabled. They're, they're just, are they pinned to a core maybe? You know, it's not branchless. I, I saw the, uh, oh, oh look, this is stupid. Well, there's a mistake right there. Uh, no, maybe not. It's just like unrolling something. It's like unrolled or something. Just unrolled. Disable, re-enable. Okay, they just they just unroll the loop twice, so that's fine. Um, those things are probably pretty fast. Uh, yeah, there can't really be a way to do that faster. I was thinking if I like outputted a permuted thing, but that wouldn't be faster. What's my big O? Well, you know, it's matrix multiplication. <laughs> you know what it is. How do they, how is PyTorch still faster? Interleaved Z. No. This is the most straightforward matrix multiply. Yeah, again, look, Godbolt was great yesterday. I think the problem today is, um, Oh, these are cool. No, 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 guys, it's not opt. Cause like, look at this. LLVM can't analyze any of this. There's nothing here for LLVM to analyze. It just goes through AMX op, AMX op, AMX op, AMX op. Does Apple have a stable power mode? That's possible, actually. I, I believe that that's probably more likely than um, this other stuff. Or maybe I'm not getting on the good core. Well, how many gigaflops am I getting? Well, we're getting a lot more gigaflops now. That's pretty good. 550 gigaflops. It's probably cache stuff. It's probably cache. What's the size of the L2? Where's the L2? I talked about this somewhere, don't I? M1 L2 cache.
Oh. Okay, maybe you got one cash, so it's 200. It's 128. The whole thing fits in L2 cash. So we're not falling out of L2 cash. The only thing we can hope for is that we can get some stuff in L1 cash. So that's times four. Our height of this whole thing is times 32. Yeah, okay, so it's actually already perfectly set up for the cash. So the cash thing isn't even gonna do anything. We're perfectly in the cache. No, we did the math on the cache and we made sure that was good. Um, okay, maybe the only thing I could think of is don't turn it on and off. There's probably a way to turn off the accumulate, right? Yeah, that seems right. I'm gonna guess that, uh, yeah. Is there a way to turn off the accumulate? Like I'm, I'm doing this set and clear thing, which is a pretty violent operation. I, I mean, I don't know. Skip Z input or use Z input. It's the only thing I can think. LLVM has AMX intrinsics? I don't think it does. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, careful. That's the Intel AMX. I think we have to change where I put AMX set, hang on. Okay, this is gonna give me the wrong answer. We have to disable Z on some of them. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's not even faster. What the fuck, man? It's not even faster. You found Apple AMX? Okay, how far do we want to go? Libblast.dilib, who's ready to reverse engineer?
Mine looks the same, right? It has to be the cash. I load. It's the index. It doesn't. Okay, that's pretty good. I think that's actually even faster. It can't be those. I hope I'm gonna put that outside, by the way. That's poor optimization, but again, it doesn't matter. Didn't we conclude it's not the cache? No, I don't think we concluded that. We did conclude it's not the uh, setting and clearing. Setting and clearing seems like a fine way to do it. We are doing one extra add, but I also don't think that matters. Off by a factor of two off the theoretical maximum. I don't know if we're going to get this one. I mean, it's stupid. I don't think that's going to matter, but now it just looks a little more like the uh, like the example. This is the inner loop in blast. Where's lib blast? Uh, a library, probably. It's in the accelerate framework. Crazy gigaflops. I don't get crazy gigaflops. Can you add some pointless instructions? No, it's not that. Uh, where's libloss? Is it homebrew? stores could be very slow. Could I check cash misses? How? How do I profile that? Counters. instruments. I don't have this. Oh, that's pretty good. You know, we're within 2x. That's, that's, should we just take our win and say, oh, we did a great job? Wait, 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 guys. Oh. 
There is one more thing we could do. No, no, we don't have enough outputs. <sighs> yeah, but we don't have... I don't even know if those tools are going to work with the A and X. Buy more RAM. Funny, bro. Why is Torch faster? It's pop. Maybe I'm not getting the performance core. Oh, also. Why is this faster here? You disable cores on Mac. I'm not sure I can. Again, I don't want to start disabling cores because somehow PyTorch is doing it, right? I mean, TinyGrad does just appear to have some overhead. So some of it's just that. I don't even know how to make N like 32. That's just time spent in the Python. So TinyGrad has 0.3 milliseconds of overhead to launch like nothing. is useless because this still doesn't explain I mean even if it has a little bit of overhead this still doesn't explain why it's way slower can we get rid of the Python yeah I mean the Python doesn't, the Python's not responsible for this though, right? Because if I set n to like 32, you're only getting 0.3 milliseconds of overhead. Uh, like I can't imagine there's anything in here that's dependent on the shape. No, it's not. I mean, here's the other thing that's possible. It's possible that they're doing a reshape, that they're making copies. No, but you can't make a copy that fast. Can you? Let's see if I use AMX. Oh, 
Okay, so maybe you can make a copy that fast. Like one theory is that it's making copies of the matrix, right? Test this nest jam. Some guys probably already reverse engineered this. Getting two gigaflops somehow. Oh, that at least got leaked, so that's cool. Uh, instruction names. Ah. There's compiler intrinsics. Where's accelerate framework? Where's the lib blast that Torch was linking to? Guys, these streams always go on too long. Glass. There we go, system library. this oh stupid uh <sighs> fine you know what I don't even need stupid um you know what it is who knows what it is
So this is the this is the Apple version. One of those do. Twelve. Twelve. All right, so those are matrix multiplies. But I tried disabling that, and even though the answer was wrong, it didn't. What are these? I shift five for the uh, the op, right? Zero and one. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the first one. Okay, so it does seem like they do the first one. Um. And clear the thing. Now the unknown opcodes are the AMX. Gigaflops. Good night. Yeah, I don't know. Let's take one more look over to see if I missed anything. But otherwise, you know, this is always a problem we can solve later. I, I don't understand why I'm not getting the same speed as them. We're using all 64 registers, right? Yeah, we're using all 64. That's four nine six. Is that right? Hmm. Doing thirty two. Yeah, that's right. It's got to go through all thirty two rows. Instruments can be found in Xcode developer tools. Yeah, we might have to try that. Sweeping through the matrix, right? That's pretty good. There's nothing faster than this.
keeps going. It's not a coincidence if it's 2x lower. Yeah. Well, they're somehow getting half more things in the cash than I am. And then we got to deal with all the permuted stuff. Oh, that's going to be hard. Uh, so it's not a question of how large the matrix can be until it can't multiply the entire uh, row at once. It's um, basically think about the matrix. Think about we have a uh, 32 by 32 chunk and we're going out like pew, right? Like that. Uh, and then we're accumulating those all in there, right? So it's like this, this square but then this square, but then those squares, but then those squares, then it adds those all up, right? And then it moves on to the next one. And that's all in cash and that's all not in cash. Cash div is very tempting. You think it has to be that. Um, I guess we, we can look inside Bloss and figure out uh, how it's tiling the cash. Do the cash like that. Breaks it up a little better. So now it's doing like two by two chunks and then doing 16 of those. Like we can make it do four by four chunks. Like this is tiling. say that it has to do with like global cash accesses but no because we run it a whole bunch of times uh, is it possible torch is cheating is it possible torches outputs are not it's possible hmm Hmm. No. Torch's outputs are fine. We should have stopped. We should have, we should have, we should have taken our gains. Look, let's just, let's just admire for a minute how far we've come. So if we check out master and we run this, it is 1,189 times slower than Torch. But if we check out Chonker, oh, let's get rid of the debug. We don't need the debug. We, we can see this more pure. Okay, so if we run it on master, it's a thousand times slower than Torch. But if we run it on Chonker, it's 1.84 times slower than Torch. And I'm still mad about that 1.4 times. Um, and uh, the hype train guilted me into this, it really did.
Uh, I run the test eight times, so trust me, I do that. I have one more quick thought. I can change the orders of these loops. No, but we don't want to. All right, we do that. Yeah. And then we do that, and then we do that. That was my only thought. Wait till we are crushing it with the... Con Wait till we get this working for convolutions. Oh. Wait till we get... When this works for convolutions... Is there a flag somewhere to make it fast? <laughs> what certain algorithm for matrix multiplication? Strassens? Bro. Ugh. Do they have a blast here? Torch paid for the fast one. They know, they know where the secret bit is to make it fast. Why don't I load that strange lib? Oh, because it's not really there. It, uh, you have to unpack. Apple's done a really good job of hiding the frameworks now. And the frameworks are like deeply embedded in Index loads, the element size and the index size. George 1.8 X4 uh, engineer. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, it's Alex. Hello, we're on stream. Oh. What? It's like a recess. Yeah? Losing it. You're not, you didn't enjoy your recess? You want to go get some food? I'm kind of hungry. All right, cool. We'll, we'll end the stream. You want to say hi to the streamies? It's Alex! <laughs> Small Alex on the phone. Um. Yeah, yeah, we wasted the last hour. We got it down from 1,000x slower. It was actually about 20x slower to 1.84x slower. So we made like a 1,000x improve, a 500x improvement. But but why is it 1.4x slow? Why is it 1.8x slower? Our theory is that PyTorch paid for the secret good version of the AMX. That's always the truth. Bro, bro, what? I want the secret good version. Yo, we, you know we have the secret good version of OpenPilot, right? We renamed the end-to-end, um, -end, the experimental, uh, like the experimental toggle. Yeah. But I joked that we should call it the secret good OpenPilot. You renamed it to what? It's, it's experimental now. Oh, not end-to-end. Yes, they do. More people know what end-to-end -end means than experimental. No, we, we, we put it in clear in experimental mode that end-to-end -end is included in that, but it, we're defaulting now to chill mode, which is standard driving. And then uh, no, 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 no. I don't work there anymore. I don't work there anymore. Uh, 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 let's, where do you want to go for food? Um, I don't know. What do you want Miguel's? Do you want, what are you in the mood for? You want to try Harney Sushi again? I'll do that one, actually. Could we go to the other sushi place? Tapidoro, no, it's closed now. Oh. Yeah, the place looks amazing. Oh, Are you no. in the mood for all the coffee? <laughs> yeah, I would eat whatever, man. Um, no, you know what I'm in the mood for? Why is my thing 1.4x slower? You want me to pick you up in the car? 
Hillcrest? No, 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 no. I don't want to take the car, man. Uh, where else? Oh, we can walk to Hominoy. Oh, you want to do lunch at home in a way? I don't, there's Mexican? Do you want to go to any Mexican food? Or we could try another Mexican place. Is there another place. sushi place? No. There's only, let me see if our sushi's open. 1.84. I know it's not 1.4. It opens at 4. Harney Sushi opens at 4? I'm going to meet at 4. Oh, that's a long time. Wait, where is their food now? Oh, one guy suggested pizza. There is that weird Italian place we haven't been to yet. The, the weird Instagram one? Wait, what weird Instagram one? The, the Italian place, the one that looks like it's for Instagram. No, no, no. This is the Pizza Bella. It's the one that's like one block, two blocks out from the office. Um, let's see if it's open. No California pizza. I didn't sell, comma. I just quit. I have a new job, guys. I work on the tiny corporation. Oh, I was going to send a spicy tweet today, but I wanted Harold to approve of spicy. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's good. The two of you can keep each other in check. Um, it's about selling electronics to normies now. That's true. That's true. Look, we're talking about experimental because the normies don't know what the end means. Let's get shirts made that say comma sold out. Yeah, yeah. Who's the new CEO? What do we need a CEO for? Okay, wait. Do you want We don't run business scams. Hungry Kitchen? Where's that? It's got a 4-3. It's the little spot next that we always walk by. Oh, it closes at 4. Never mind. It's like a lunch place. Um, and that's the... We can go to Rock and Ball, huh? No. Oh, Rock and Baja. No, no, no. Let's let's go to that Instagram Italian place. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. The Instagram Italian place. It's not open yet. What? It's not Don Pietro's. Why wouldn't they be open? Oh, there's there's always the Nepalese restaurant. Yeah, Bojan. Wait, Trattoria. Oh, Trattoria Don Pietro opens at 4 o'clock. Meet me there at four. Perfect. Great. What? You're not excited about the Instagram Italian? Oh, I am. I'm really happy about it. All right. That's great. I see you soon. You're the Slaughter Gang CEO? All right. We're going, we're going there. Don't show up. Honestly, if you show up, that's why I got my block for. You didn't catch me lacking, boys. Um... <laughs> Uh, all right. That's it. Sorry, sorry. Today's a today's a one point. Let's let's do a few of them. It's not even. Oh, one point five eight. How come that time it was faster? Okay, guys. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a one point seven X engineer. We'll just we'll just call it. Uh Push before you go. It's pushed. It's pushed. It's all on the chonker branch. If it's all on the chonker branch, uh, this should work. This this example should work great on your M1 Mac. Um, <laughs> can you carry it, Calvin? You know, guys, you know, I don't have a gun, man. Uh, look, I think there's an appropriate place for guns. And I think it's like if you lived in like a more rural area. Having a gun in the city, I'm not even talking about like how it's like bad. I think should, people should be able to have them, but like you're most likely to shoot yourself when you just look up and followed by someone you care about. So like the statistics don't bear well uh, for having a gun in the city. Um, will I re-implement for Intel AMX too? It's California though. Um, uh, all right. Thank you for watching today's stream. Uh, yeah. We did a pretty good job. The beginning of the stream was real solid. And then it all kind of fell apart. But, you know, it was, it was good. All right. All right. Bye-bye.